The ward is going up tonight for information leading to the arrest of the person behind a pipe bomb explosion in Marshfield. That bomb went off yesterday just as police were examining it. Now we spoke with the man who first spotted this explosive device and knew enough to go for help. Bill Shields is live with this story tonight in Marshfield. Bill? That pipe bomb was found right over back of me here on what's known as the Esplanade here in Marshfield in the Brant Rock section. And that was a very sophisticated pipe bomb. This was not something to just sniff at. This was very serious. In fact, police are now asking the public's help in finding not only possibly who made this bomb, but maybe there was an intended target. They're so serious about it, they're offering now a $5,000 reward for information. Only now does Ted Walker realize just how lucky he was. Sunday, he was walking his dog near the beach in Marshfield when he saw something on the ground. Somebody had taken the time to completely wrap in electrical tape, and not only that, the ends were wrapped in electrical tape. But the more closer I looked, it just it looked like it had been there for a little while, so I wasn't like overly cautious about it. Mm -hmm. And I moved it myself, and nothing happened, but... Um, I think you're a little lucky, maybe. Yeah, it could be. When police and firefighters got to the device, they realized it was no fake. It was a sophisticated pipe bomb. It would have caused serious injury, if not death, to um, several people that were in the immediate area of the, uh, of the homemade pipe bomb. The bomb was rigged electronically and had two strong magnets attached to it, leading police to believe it may have been attached to someone's car. This was devised to target a specific uh, victim and uh, we believe that uh, it may have been attached to a motor vehicle. The state police bomb squad was called in and they used a robot to detonate the device. CJ Haddad watched it all unfold from his family's restaurant. And it was kind of scary. You didn't, you didn't know what to expect. Right. So we were kind of just waiting here what the cops told us to do. I mean, obviously if they told us to shut down, we would have shut down. How serious was this? Were there are businesses right, here, right around here, like Haddad's restaurant? There's also a neighborhood right over here, a residential neighborhood. Part of this area was evacuated. That's how serious it was. In fact, again, a $5,000 reward for information. Reporting live from Marshfield, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Lisa? Pretty scary. All right, Bill, thank you. This